Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about sweet potatoes and how to select and store your sweet potatoes when you get them home. Now, when you're buying a sweet potato, you want to look for ones that are firm and don't have any cracks or bruises or soft spots on them. Smaller to medium sized sweet potatoes will be more sweet and creamy, whereas the large ones might be on the starchy side. Now I have a couple sweet potatoes here and I want to point this out to you. You see they look very different here. This one is longer, this one is shorter and more stout. There is a difference, different varieties in there. This one, the longer one that's slightly a little bit more red, if you can see it on the screen there, has a sweeter flavor than the shorter, more stout ones. I eat a lot of sweet potatoes and I have discovered this myself. This didn't come from research anywhere. This is me and uh, knowing the difference. This one's redder on the inside. This one's a little more orange on the inside. This one's going to be sweeter. This one's going to be not quite as sweet. Now you see this one's all nice and smooth. Looks very nice. This one has a little bit more uh, indentations on it. And like there's an indentation right here that you'll see and a couple more along here. These are naturally occurring things that you're going to find in sweet potatoes. However, when you're choosing them, you want one that has the least amount of these indentations in there as possible. They can indicate age on there. Maybe yes, maybe no, but they can. So I try to avoid sweet potatoes that are loaded with these dark indentations. This one's not so dark, but they can be. Um, this one doesn't really, yeah, there's a little tiny dark spot right here that you'll see. Sometimes they can get rather large. That indicates it's a little on the older side. Try to find one that's not really full of these dark pock marks on them, which lack of another word to call that. So anyway, this gives you some ideas on how to select the best sweet potatoes that are available to you at the moment. When you get them home, you want to store them in a cool, dry, dark, but well-ventilated place and certainly away from a heat source. Ideally, they should be stored below 60 degrees, but above 40, so the refrigerator is not a good place to store your uncooked sweet potatoes that you're trying to hold on to for a little bit. So that temperature range would be equivalent to a basement or a root cellar. Most of us don't have root cellars anymore, so you're going to have to store that in the coolest place that you can, not in the refrigerator. And if it's a little bit on the warmer side, so be it. You'll see that they're going to age a little bit faster, so you want to use them up as quickly as you can. You do not want to store them in plastic bags because that could invite them to mold. They need air around them, okay? So just make sure that they have a ventilation and that they're not stifled with a plastic bag around them. If you find that you can't use them all fast enough, cook them and put them in the freezer and they'll wait for you and then you can just warm up whatever amount you need at that time. I do hope this helps you out. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.